Grapes, they're a popular go-to snack that contain important vitamins and minerals to help keep you healthy. Today, we make a grape take on the classic caramel apple that's almost too cute to eat. And we're sharing our new favorite way to serve up this 1950s treat. We head to one of our most treasured spots for a magical time dressed in ruffles and tulle. On the next episode. Presented by D. Suihiro Electric Gig, Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense, restyling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Welcome to Season 8 of Fashion Sense! Time sure does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? And that's exactly what our episode is filled with. Lots of fun and sweetness. So let's get right to it and head to the kitchen. When I came across these gigantic grapes, I thought there has to be something really cute that we can make. So we are making a snack size, bite size take on the caramel apple. And here's all the simple ingredients you'll need. Now the first thing you want to do is slice off a little from the bottom of your grate. Don't waste a thing. And this is so that your grape stands nice and flat. And look at these cute little food picks that I found. They're pink stars. We're going to just put that in the center of your grape, slather it with some caramel dip, and then woo, add some of your favorite toppings. How cute is that? Now, if you don't slice a little from the bottom of your grape, this is what happens. It's just going to <laughs> topple. Yeah, that's no fun. So slice the bottom. Don't waste a thing. Slather some caramel dip and sprinkle. How cute is this one with the colorful sprinkles? Now, caramel candy has been a staple for years because the ingredients were inexpensive, it's easy to make, and it has a long shelf life. I'm gonna do one more with some coconut flakes. What a cute little bite-sized snack. I'm gonna take a bite of this one. It's so good. I mean, this is so much easier and daintier to eat than the traditional caramel apple. Up ahead, I've got another fun idea using the caramel dip. Don't go away. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Welcome back. One of the most important elements of bonding between a mother and a child is breastfeeding. Today, Dr. David Ching from the Kids Shine Dental Group is here to share a procedure that can help. Hi, Dr. Dave. Some children are born with conditions that can prevent breastfeeding, and you have a procedure that can help. It's called lip tie. So what lip tie is, is when you have a piece of tissue called the frenum that anchors the lip and prevents the baby from forming a full circle which is necessary during breastfeeding. The procedure is called a phrenectomy, so we release that frenum and the lip is able to move freely and now we can form a full circle. When is the best time to do this treatment? Yeah, once a diagnosis is made either by a lactation specialist, pediatrician, or pediatric dentist, the procedure should be done ASAP. There's two main advantages. The first advantage is that now baby won't struggle to feed and can get the proper nutrition that only breastfeeding can provide. Mm -hmm. The second advantage is the mother to infant bonding. Oxytocin, the love hormone, is released while 
baby is skin to skin contact with mom and it's a very integral role of their bonding. Mm -hmm. As we all know that skin to skin contact that happens during breastfeeding is an important element for child development. So what's the recovery time for this procedure? Before the advent of lasers, we mm -hmm. had to actually cut the frenum okay. and then put sutures in there which would require many days of painful post-op. But with laser, we use a technology called ablation and which reduces recovery time to virtually zero. So baby can breastfeed right away and we can ensure latching before they leave. I remember this one mom, she came out crying because she was so happy she's never felt that, that bonding with her child through breastfeeding. That must have been such a miracle to witness. It was. Breastfeeding is an investment in health and not just a lifestyle decision and has many benefits for both infant and mom. For more information on this topic, visit KidsShineHawaii.com, Oahu's most referred pediatric dentist. And moms, remember, even if your child doesn't have teeth, if you experience any problems with your baby latching, please see a lactation specialist or pediatric dentist. Thank you, Dr. Dave. Thank you. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. We are a Kidshine Dental Group serving Hawaii's Kiki for over 40 years and voted Best Pediatric Dentist since 2016. We are committed to creating a positive experience by making your child's dental visit comfortable, fun, and interactive. Free orthodontic consultations for all ages are available at our Kapolei and Pearl City locations. Go to KidshineHawaii.com and reserve your appointment today. Hi friends, you've all heard the saying, my life may not be perfect, but my lashes are. Today's beauty topic with lash master and educator Deidre Harvey is here to talk about some lash extension trends. Hi Deidre. Hi. New year, new look. You've got some new lash extension trends to share with us. I do. Just like fashion, uh -huh. lash extension trends can come and go, but for this season, I'm seeing new trends, like with color. That's okay. a popular trend. People can use the color extensions to express their personality. All colors, the rainbow, and more. So we have ombre lashes too, wow. which is two colors in one lash. Is it a different process to apply, and are they made of different material than regular lash extensions? No, it's not necessarily different material, but okay. there can be a different process. Uh -huh. So some clients may want a mix of black lash extensions with color. Or you can do a full 100% color. You can also work with lash layers to create a different look and effect. Also, we're seeing a wet look for mm. this season. So anything kind of wispy and textured is really going to be popular. It's just like coming out of the shower. So very PC look. Uh -huh. And people really like that. And what I like too is a lot of our clients that have volume lashes, uh -huh. we have a lash sealant that they can use that is applied. It's kind of like a mascara brush. Okay. And you can go from a volume look to more of a wet, wispy look. Oh, I love that. So with this sealant, is it only used if you have a volume zap? Not necessarily. Okay. You can use the sealant with other extensions, but okay. it's nice to just create that two-in-one, going from volume for very fluffy uh -huh. and full to more textured, like a wet look or ah, more wispy. I love it. So can you also use it on natural lashes? What if you don't have lash extensions? Can they use the same sealant? could definitely use it, but what that does, it's just going to really kind of add a little bit more darkness to it because it's not so opaque, but it's more of a clear black sealant. Oh. So just to add maybe more depth to your lashes. The most important trend is the one that works for your beauty and your personal style. Ah, so one that works for your lifestyle and then you can definitely customize that. Friends, always work with a licensed professional stylist. If you have a question for our beauty expert, send that to our social media or to our website, fashionsenseaway.com. You can also email us at info at zolashpro.com. We can schedule a consultation for you and find the right lash set for you. Thank you, Deidre. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Welcome back. If you have any leftover caramel dip, here's another fun idea. We are making a caramel apple board.
Now you can make this snack with any board of your choice. You can even use a cutting board. What you wanna do first is grab your caramel dip and spread that down the center of your board. Next, what you wanna do, add some toppings. And again, this is your recipe, whatever topping of choice that you want. Ask the kids what their favorite is. I'm gonna do some sprinkles because everything with sprinkles on it makes everything better. Some semi-sweet chocolate chips. <laughs> Isn't that looking cute already? I'm gonna add some white chocolate chips. Oh my gosh. It's like a birthday party on a board. And then some mini marshmallows. Oh my goodness. And then all you'll need to do is add your apples to the sides. And I'm also going to add some pretzels just so that we have options because we all love options. I'm losing some pretzels there. And that's it. How quick and easy was that? And look how cute it is. All right, I am gonna take a little pretzel and dip. And what I love about this is that you can dip and choose what toppings you want. If you don't like the marshmallows, dip it on the other side. That was so delicious. But so much easier to eat than a big old caramel apple, right? I never knew how to eat those. This is fun. If you have a favorite no-cook recipe, send that to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs. Moisturizing. Rejuvenating. Energizing. Sunkissed. Alluring. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. We're seeing this all over social media, and there are tons of commercials on cosmetic injectables. Today, we're talking specifically about Botox with world-renowned Dr. David Yu of Aesthetics Hawaii. Hi, Dr. Yu. Thank you so much for being here today. Hey, Val. Thank you so much for having me. There is so much information out there that surrounds Botox, but before we get into the myths and the facts, is there one brand that's better than the other? That's an excellent question. There's actually four FDA-approved brands. We carry them all. Now, interestingly, the active ingredient is the same for all of them. Would one brand be better than the other? Think of the brands like scissors. You get a great haircut or a not so great haircut. Is it more the stylus that's cutting or the, the scissors itself? More importantly, just find out if the injector is experienced. Is Botox poisonous? Poison, by definition, is quantity related. So I kind of think of Botox like wine. A glass of day can be good for you, but if you do it in excess, it can be harmful. The next myth, Botox will give me a frozen or expressionless look. Let's put that to the test. I'm gonna look angry. Ooh! Mm. <laughs> look worried. Oh. Look happy. So I, I love that. In, and you know, to answer uh, your question, I love that movie Frozen. Yes, me too. So this myth, we have to. Let it go, let it go. Let go of all those myths. Another myth is that Botox can take care of all the wrinkles or remove all the wrinkles. The answer is no. Okay. So Botox is safe in certain areas. Primarily, we call it the big three around the eyes. So in between, above the eyebrows, uh -huh. to the side. We also want to teach our patients that it's okay to have wrinkles in the right places and to age gracefully. There are certain areas where it's highly effective. And as your advocate, we'll tell you what those are so that you're not wasting your time, energy, and money. Another myth is that Botox will only treat wrinkles. There's 12 FDA indications for this, and Botox for cosmetic is just one of them. 
Other ones include urinary incontinence, it includes headaches from migraines. We routinely give Botox for TMJ all the time. Our favorite one now is the Swan Neck Botox. Oh, Swan Neck, what's that? Yeah, they call it Tech Neck. Uh -huh. So it's from doing this, working at your desk, and as you keep moving your trapezius muscles and shoulders, it makes the neck look shorter. So we can put Botox safely in these muscles. Over the time, it'll actually start to return to its beautiful swan neck form. The next myth is that Botox is painful. No, it's very tolerable. We are using the smallest needles for this. When we combine it with just taking your time, mm -hmm. walking patients through this, a little bit of breathing and acupressure. Raised and hung. Mm -hmm. Patients have said this is the most comfortable injecting experience that they've ever had. Calm, relaxing music in the background uh -huh. and create a sense of peace. Mm -hmm. Then the whole injection process can be peaceful. There are so many myths regarding cosmetic injectables. To schedule your personal consultation, head to hawaiibotox.com. Thank you, Val. We want to be an advocate and really help people make good decisions by customizing a plan based on their unique anatomy and budget and needs. And that is the art of aesthetics. And when you come into their office, if you like and follow both of our social platforms, Aesthetics Hawaii and Fashion Sense Hawaii, you will receive a beauty gift. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. It's time for our real estate tip of the week with our real estate expert, Denise Miyahira. Hi, Denise. Hi, Val. We've got a great question that came from a viewer through our website who asked, what is a contingent offer? That is a great question, Val. And we are seeing contingent offers happening more often now. Okay. So a contingent offer is when an offer is made to buy a property, but another property has to be sold in order to buy the property. Okay, okay. okay. so the offer you're making is, Hey, I'll buy your home. I can't buy it right now, but I will buy it. I will be buying it. Uh -huh. So hold on and okay. wait for me. Ah, I get it. So a contingent offer normally has a time frame that's included in their offer. That's right, okay. because you and I have an agreement, but you're only going to give me a limited time to go ahead and try to sell my property. It sounds like there's risks involved as well. Right. If I fail to sell my property, I can't buy your property. Or I might need more time ah. to sell my property. At the same time, what if I'm the only buyer, mm -hmm. right? So I'm the only option, and therefore, you're willing to wait because I'm gonna give you the price that you want. So a contingent offer is one where the buyer needs to sell their property in order to purchase another. That's absolutely correct, Val. Got it. I think the key here, folks, is to always work with a licensed professional realtor. For more real estate tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. For anything real estate related, contact Denise directly. Thanks, Val, and together we'll find the keys to your happy home. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. It takes a lot of little things to make a successful classroom. But it only takes one small donation to make a difference. A donation to our island's public schools is a giant step towards building a future for our keiki. Learn how you can make a difference at communityhelpingschools.org. Finding balance in our everyday lives helps us to improve our overall health. In today's movement, we are going to do just that. Have balance. Let's go ahead and get started. You will need nothing, just some space. We're going to go ahead and begin bringing everything together, standing up nice and tall. I'm going to take my front hand, place it right on my hip. I'm going to stabilize through my back leg. My back hand will fold forward with me. And from here, take that front leg, bring it back. Let's keep the toe on the floor. We're gonna hinge forward from the hip. Back hand reaches down towards the floor. 
belly button into the spine, leading with the crown of the head. We're bringing it back up. Let's do that again. Take that front leg back, touching the toe to the floor, hinging forward from the hip, reaching down, lengthening and stabilizing through the back leg. Let's take it up a notch, shall we? Now remember, if this next movement doesn't resonate with your body, that's okay. Don't do it. Remain with that front toe glued to the floor. Let's begin. Take that front leg back. Keep the toe on the floor just for you to find your balance. Hinging forward from the hip, belly button into the spine, backhand reaches down, and you're going to hinge deeper here and float that leg back up. Bring everything back up. And again, let's try it without touching that back foot to the floor. So reach down with that back hand here. Hinge, bring that front leg behind you, behind you until your chest is parallel to the floor. And back up. One more time, bringing that leg behind you, reaching with that back arm down, stabilizing through the back leg. Bring it down, belly button into the spine, chest parallel to the floor. Gently bring yourself back up. When your body finds that balance, you can pay attention to your body's needs. Remember, Always be kind to your body. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. runways of every season showcase multiple trends and spring of 2023 does not disappoint with extravagant tulle. Let's take a look. Tulle sleeves are a big trend in 2023. The combination of a fitted knit bodice and tulle ruffle sleeves of this top makes it versatile to dress up or down. We paired it with chiffon pants and finished with a double dose of sparkly headbands to make it chic and grown up. Inspired by tutus, spring of 2023 takes tulle and ruffles to the next level. Haley's Ensemble makes a statement with a mix of a full tulle crop top and a multi-ruffle lace skirt. To balance the extra volume, we pulled her hair to the side and stacked on the rhinestone hairpins. When we think of tulle, oftentimes the color pink comes to mind. If you're not a fan of pink but you love all the oomph, you're gonna love this outfit. Sienna's Color Block Ensemble is a classic take on Swan Lake. The oversized tulle across the top makes it fun to shimmy the shoulders. With an elegant dress like this, we added a feminine velvet bow to her braided hair. Speaking of oomph, this next outfit looks like it could be a cake design. Tristy's ruffles are full and fluffy, a dress in a show-stopping color. We added accessories to match the boldness of her dress with a velvet headband 
and a printed embellished pair of shoes. The color white is always a classic choice, but when it comes to tulle, it can be a bit bridal. Here is a lace version that won't disappoint. Britney's mini dress is layered from top to bottom in feminine lace. Pulling together this look, we adorned her braid with multiple pearls and rhinestones, and didn't stop there. We added a layer of chandelier earrings. Rounding up our tool fashion is a chic maxi dress style. Nicole's corset style maxi dress in a light blush color speaks sophistication on all levels. We kept her accessories in neutral tones and finished it with multiple textured headbands. With skirts and dresses inspired by tutus, 2023 will be a year of airy styles. So why not go ahead and take Tool to the next level? And remember, always have fun with fashion! And that's our show for today! Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great sharing with you. And a very special thank you to D3 Hero Electric, known for their progressive and modern lighting solutions. To view all of our episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. We'll see you again. <laughs> 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 You look good, based on what I can see, and I'm blind. Stick, stick to the script. I still get confused. <laughs> more, mommy, more. Hi, mommy. Look at my hair. You know what I mean? No. Let's get it. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey ho. For fashion sense. All right, that's a wrap. Closing. Fashion Sense is presented by D. Sui Hero Electric Gang, Sundays 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16.